Hey guys, I'm Adam from Top Dog, and today I want to talk to you about something that I think is really important, and that is how to keep you and your dog safe when you're out for a walk around the neighborhood, at the park, or anywhere for that matter, where you might be a little bit concerned about getting charged or attacked by an off-leash dog. Now, this is something I think is really unfortunate that we even have to have this conversation about because it happens far too often that folks are being irresponsible with their dogs, letting them run around the neighborhood or get off leash or things like that. And it causes some major problems for those of us that are out there just responsibly walking our dogs. However, it's become such a problem that it's become a pretty big part of my business to have to rehabilitate dogs that were attacked or charged by off-leash dogs. So then I get these dogs in that I should probably never have had to meet. They were otherwise phenomenal dogs, but now they have to come to me for training because they now developed fears, anxieties, or aggression towards other dogs due to the fact that they've been charged or attacked by other dogs. So there's two things that I like to do to keep myself safe. The first is I like to walk with a trekking pole. A trekking pole, uh, this is one of my favorites here because it's simply a collapsible trekking pole, which means it's easy for me to store and take anywhere. I can keep it under the seat of my truck. I can keep it in lots of different places. Very easy for me to take anywhere. Um, lightweight, yet aluminum, so still pretty darn heavy duty. And it expands to whatever size that I need it to. So I can use it. My wife, who's a little bit shorter than me, she can use it. Uh, my kids like to use them, even though they're not using them for the same purpose as me. They just want to look cool like dad. So again, um, trekking poles are a great way to help keep yourself safe. And it's pretty obvious how to use it, right? When a dog charges me, I've been very fortunate enough to just look crazy enough to the dog with the trekking pole that they decide that they don't want any piece of this fight. When they come charging us, I wave that trekking pole, hey, leave us alone, go home. I give it a couple big waves way up high in the air and the dog says, wow, that guy looks crazy. That's not our normal easy prey that I can go mess with. And so they leave us alone. The second tool that I use I like even more than the trekking pole, if I'm being honest, because it's smaller, it's easier to carry, and it's got a little bit more applications that I can use it for. And that is simply a stun gun. Now this particular stun gun is called the Viper Tech, and I absolutely love this little stun gun here. This thing here, I've tried probably 20 to 30 different stun guns in the last 10 years, and this one here has absolutely blown my mind. Now, I can't take credit for this. My good friend Jim at AmeriCanine is the one that turned me on to this. Uh, so thank you, Jim, for turning me on to this product. This thing absolutely rocks. Couple reasons why I like this thing so much. First of all, it's size, right? This thing's tiny, can go anywhere, can fit anywhere. Second of all is some of the applications that they've built in or some of the helpful things that they've built in here. So one, it's got a rechargeable battery. Some of my other stun guns had really expensive, hard to find batteries that I had to put in there. Not only is this battery rechargeable, but they built the recharger in so I don't lose the cable. I'm really bad about losing cables. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but I just pushed that little black nub on the top, slid it over, these two prongs plug out, and guess what? You plug that into the wall and this thing's charging for you. It slides right back in, out of the way. So built-in charger, built-in battery, works awesome for me. The battery life is pretty good on it too. Next reason I like it is because again, I use this thing when I'm out for a walk with a dog. And as is often the case, when I'm out for a walk with a dog, I'm looking for those landmines that they're leaving behind. So when I got a scoop poop, this thing has a built-in flashlight. And as you can see, it's pretty darn bright. So I can be out there looking for poop. And this is a little bit easier to hold on to than my phone, especially in cold weather. So awesome little flashlight built into this thing. The next reason I like it a lot is strictly from the sound that it makes. Now, remember I talked about with the walking stick or the, the trekking pole, how I haven't ever had to actually strike a dog. I've just been able to look crazy enough that the dog doesn't want to mess with us. Um, the same thing is true of the stun gun. When a dog charges me and I've got the stun gun in my hand, this thing makes a scary enough noise that most dogs say, wow, I do not want to tangle with those guys. The fight's just not worth it. I point the stun gun at the dog. I say, hey, and then I go, Again, you hear that loud popping crackling noise guess what the dog hears that and again they don't want any part of us okay believe it or not the crackle is actually a little bit louder I I knew that the battery was getting low on this one before I started the video but I just had some time wanted to make the video real quick 
the crackling is actually louder when this, this when this thing's battery is charged up fully. Um, but I've ran this one down a little bit. Again, though, the battery life on these pretty darn good when you're out there using the flashlight a lot and stuff. So um, they make a really loud pop, just like y'all heard just now, and that's going to scare away most dogs. And then finally, the last reason why I'm absolutely in love with this thing is because of the fact that its bark is not worse than its bite. Its bite is way worse. What I mean by that is when you actually get touched with this thing, holy cow, does this thing hurt. And you might ask me how I know. Well, guess what? Every stun gun I buy, I have my staff try it out on me because I want to know the effectiveness of that stun gun. And again, I've tried about 20 in the last 10 years. And other than a police taser, this has been by far the most powerful. This is the only one that I didn't feel like I could fight through, that I feel like I literally just wanted to curl up in the fetal position and cry for a minute after getting hit with this thing. And I only got hit with it for maybe a quarter of a second. If I held this on to somebody that was attacking me or hit a dog with this that was attacking me, I have no doubt that they would tuck tail and run, that this would not increase their desire to want to fight with me like some weaker stun guns might. So again, highly effective um, and very powerful. And that's the final reason why I'm so impressed with this little stun gun and why I think y'all should carry one as well when you're out for a walk with your dog. I hope you find this video helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Of course, I'm in the description. I'm going to put some links to these products down below so that we can find them really easily. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. We'll catch you next time.